U.S. President Barack Obama has held a series of meetings hoping to ease tensions between law enforcement and communities around the country over race. The meetings follow a decision by a Missouri legal panel not to charge a white police officer in the August shooting death of a black teenager. CCTV's White House correspondent Jessica Stone joins us live now with more. And Jessica, what did the president have to say? Well, you know, the president has weighed in periodically on issues of race in this country. Remember the uh, verdict in the case of the Trayvon Martin, another uh, shooting of a young black teenager just about a year ago. Um, and so from time to time, he does weigh in, and he certainly did more than weigh in today, holding three separate meetings with cabinet officials, with civil rights leaders uh, from both Ferguson and around the country, and also uh, with government officials uh, and political leaders around the country, mayors that are facing these problems in their own cities. Uh, but the real headline out of today was the $263 million that the president is asking Congress for in order order to so increase training, uh, reform efforts in local police departments, as well as outfit them with body cameras. Some 50,000 in all uh, are going to be provided through this funding if it's approved by the U.S. Congress. It would be a 50-50 split between the federal government and between local governments. Uh, as I said, the president meeting this afternoon uh, for over an hour with about 50 different leaders from all over the country, political, uh, government leaders. These were mayors. This were a local uh, and um, Ferguson, Missouri, where all of this started, uh, young civil rights leaders from there, uh, laying out a three-point plan to further address uh, the tensions between law enforcement agencies and local communities around the issues of race, which includes a asking for a 120-day report to reduce crime uh, while building public trust. That's something he commissioned today. He also reported back on a militarization of law enforcement uh, agencies around the country. They've been receiving uh, and buying uh, Iraqi and Afghan castoffs from the U.S. military, and in this case, used them to respond to the Ferguson protests. Uh, he was very sensitive to that issue, and this report takes a look at why that um, that that use of that equipment uh, really shouldn't be. Um, widespread around the country. Uh, but let me have you listen to the president's remarks about the kind of personal uh, stake that he has in all of this. You know, he says it's it's been done before, but this time it's going to be different because the U.S. president is going to make sure it's different. When I hear the young people around this table talk about their experiences, um, it violates my belief in what America can be, uh, to hear young people feeling marginalized and distrustful even after they've done everything right. Uh, that's not who we are. And I don't think that's who the overwhelming majority of Americans want us to be. And Elaine, adding to the full court press by this administration today on these issues between law enforcement uh, and community leaders around race, the Attorney General of the United States also making remarks in Atlanta, the home of Martin Luther King Jr., uh, and actually beginning to lay out a plan that would limit racial profile. And we'll be hearing more about that in the coming days. All right, Jessica Stone at the White House.